Good afternoon, traders. It is Tuesday, September 8th, 2020, and the U.S. stock market is closed. Well, after a nice three-day weekend, uh, we had another crappy day today. That's starting to be like a broken record. But um, I want to emphasize that actually... <laughs> I, I know if you're trading this, it's it's very difficult and uh, stressful, but believe me, it could be a lot worse, and believe it or not, the system is actually working out the way it should work out, um, to, and I'll explain that in a second. The Dow uh, opened down today and then proceeded to go a little bit further and closed officially down 632 points. We had only three positions coming in. We closed out positive uh, 750 and that was improvement over the negative numbers that we had from last Friday and uh, we got into three new positions uh, one positive, two negative, and we're carrying negative $2,000 into tomorrow. Now, that's not getting rich, but it's really not doing uh, too badly either. Uh, the thing, okay, in the last three trading days, we've seen the, dro uh, the Dow drop about 1,800 points. From a high of about 29,200 down uh, to 20, I think around 27,500 or 27,400 today. Um, 27,491 is was the official close today. Anyway, drop of about 1,800 points. Uh, we have lost money each of those days, yes, but um, our losses have not been very great, but more significant is that our, we, we're not taking a lot of trades. You know, we only had three positions coming in to today, and we only got into three new positions today. This is working out the way the system should. Uh, when the market falls, we take fewer positions, and when the market turns around and goes higher, we take a lot more positions. In, in a very busy upside day, we may take as many as 15 to 25 positions. So if we're only taking three positions like today, when, uh, when the Dow falls 632 points, we are definitely limiting our exposure, and I've told you before that I really don't think this sell-off is going to hurt us, it's going to help us, because this is a resilient market, and it's going to turn around and move topside with a lot of energy, and we will make quite a bit of money uh, when that happens. However, it is frustrating, because I think on all these days we've seen... Um, profits early in the day, which then uh, just disappear. And it happened to us on uh, Friday, and it happened to us again today. I had posted, I think four and a half hours into the day, I posted on the, uh, social media, we had like over $10,000 in open trade profit. And uh, we... <laughs> We close with negative two thousand, so it just it just fizzles away, and uh, I feel like we're out in the lake in a in a rowboat that's leaking slowly, and I'm, I'm trying to bail uh, the water out of the rowboat with a sieve. That's what this feels like. It's not fun, but it's not catastrophic. Believe me, it's not catastrophic. I'm going to, I'll show you a couple of the trades today that kind of illustrate what I'm talking about. This first one is 
um, WKHS, that's Workhorse uh, Group Incorporated. And on Friday we bought this with about 90 minutes to go. And this morning it pops up really nicely here for us. And we got out of uh, Workhorse with uh, $6,500 in profit. That's really nice. But then it kept going, we get re-entered. And that's, this is the disgusting part of this thing. This thing really moves higher by midday. And I think we're, we're up close to up a, another $3,000 on this thing um, by midday. And then it starts to fade, and then it keeps fading, and it keeps fading. And where it closes here... We're down, down three thousand. We're not up three thousand anymore. We're down three thousand. So we've seen. Uh, now we're not out of the trade yet, and it could go either way tomorrow. But what we've seen here is we make uh, six and a half thousand dollars from our trade that started on Friday, and then we give half of that back on this re-entry. And uh, I started thinking, hey, that sounds familiar. I think we just recently had one like that. And yeah, we did have one like that. And I'll show you this. This is LABD, which is um, the Biotech Bear. And last Thursday, we had bought the Biotech Bear about 90 minutes in. And then on Friday, it popped up there really nicely. Gave us a great trade of $9,300. But then, just like Workhorse, it keeps going. We get re-entered here. And then it starts to fade and fade. And even though it popped up this morning, looked like maybe it was going to let us out with... You know, something close to break even. No, it fades quickly before we're able uh, to get out. And we end up giving up $5,100 on this LABD trade. So what we're looking at here is we've made $9,300 here, but then we end up giving... 5.1,000 back on the re-entry. So we've had two of these ugly re-entry so right back to back and it's painful and it's frustrating. But that's what trading's all about, folks. This will get better and uh, it could be a lot worse. And Trader Bob signing off. See you tomorrow on Wednesday.